hey food lovers welcome to my channel so today guys i'm gonna share with you the most amazing nigerian akara recipe i'm gonna show you two methods to prepare the most popular nigerian breakfast this recipe is very easy to make the akara has a crunchy exterior and it's light and fluffy in the inside you are absolutely gonna love this I'm going to show you the new and fancy way to serve the most popular Nigerian street breakfast. So this recipe is tailored to amplify and reinvent the famous Nigerian street breakfast. Your family and friends will love you more for this. So let's get started. So here are the list of ingredients to make the Nigerian Akara. You'll find the recipe in the description box to, well, to check it out. So right now I'm just going to blend up the beans. I just cleaned up the beans by taking the skin out. And right now I'm just going to add two cups of water. So that's just three cups of beans. And I'm just going to blend it up into a smooth paste. And that's it. So right now I'm going to whisk the batter for five to ten minutes with a hand whisk. You can as well use an electric mixer like you see I'm doing right there so this just incorporate a lot of air into the batter it's gonna make the batter light and fluffy and when you notice a lighter change in the color of the batter as it becomes light and fluffy and has doubled in size at that point you know it's ready for frying and that's the consistency you should be looking for so guys when it comes to making the perfect crunchy and fluffy akara two things comes into play the consistency of the batter as well as the point at which you add your seasoning just the salt so you will find all of that information in this video so right now we're just gonna season with some onion and habanero pepper so I advise you cut your onion into tiny bits because as you stir through the batter it's gonna release that beautiful flavor and aroma of the onion so good guys so you want that flavor infused into the beans it's part of flavor creation so you just want to cut your onion into tiny bits and right now the batter is so fluffy and ready and it's time for frying so you're gonna preheat your oil for five minutes on medium heat so you can test the temperature of the oil to see if it's ready by adding small scoop of the batter to the oil so if the batter floats on top of the oil without browning up immediately you know it's ready otherwise you can give the oil a couple more minutes to achieve the desired temperature before frying I'm gonna add the batter to the oil with the aid of a measuring spoon. So I use the teaspoon to get that small nuggets of akara. And we're gonna fry for two to three minutes on medium high, stirring continuously while we fry to achieve that beautiful, gorgeous, golden brown color. And at that point, you know it's ready. So guys, I created the popcorn akara, or you can call it the akara nugget, as a new way of enjoying the famous Nigerian akara, because those beautiful small nuggets of akara are very crunchy, and they're perfect for toppings for pap and custard. So good, guys. You have to try the recipe. It's ready. It's ready guys, can you see how crunchy and beautifully gorgeous this apparel looks? I love the popping golden brown color. It's so yummy. I love the fact that it's crunchy on the outside, soft, moist and fluffy in the inside. You are absolutely gonna love it. So right now, I'm gonna show you how to fry the regular size akara. So with the aid of a cooking spoon, I'm gonna scoop the batter into the oil, trying to maintain a uniform size and shape. So I'm gonna fry for two minutes on both sides until we have that beautiful, gorgeous, golden brown color. And at that point, you know it's ready. Have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share this video and let's become a family so i'm gonna flip the car over to cook on the other side for another minute until we have that evenly browned color and you can see how crunchy it looks already so good guys so if you love akara you would definitely fall in love with this recipe it's so good guys i love the different textures you get you get the fluffiness from inside and the crunchiness from outside so good guys 
So guys, I'm going to share with you the secrets to making the most crunchy akara. So I have two things I did differently for this recipe. Firstly, you have to skip the step of soaking the washed beans. This is because soaking the beans in water hydrates the starch component of the beans. So with this method, the akara is soft without the crunch on the outside. So if you skip soaking up the beans in water, you take control of the overall moisture content of the beans, meaning that the starch component of the beans is not hydrated and you have a better consistency with your batter. So that's exactly what I did and I had that beautiful outcome. Also, you have to add salt at a point of frying the akara so this has to be done per batch you do not want to add salt to the whole batter because salt has the potential of extracting water from the paste and this can deflate the air already incorporated into the batter so these were the two things i did differently for this recipe so guys i hope you tried if you do let me know the outcome it's the key to the crunch lies in the overall water content in your paste so although this is quite different from the water added during blending However, you have to be mindful of the quantity of water you use in blending your paste. So the key here is consistency. So we're trying to control the consistency and we start off by not soaking up the beans. It's the taste time. Can you see how gorgeous and crunchy this akara looks? so good guys you can save it with some pap some custard some bread the possibilities are endless i'm gonna open it to show you what's inside can you see how soft fluffy and moist it looks so good guys so it's time to give it a taste oh my gosh it's so good guys i love the different textures in my mouth so right here it's a beautiful canvas of the different possibilities of what you can pair with the famous nigerian akara so this recipe has been tailored to bring your family and friends together to create long lasting family memories I'm gonna serve mine with some pap, so I'm just gonna top it with some berries, some whipped cream, and now the star of the show, the nuggets of crunchy akara. So good, guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, wanna give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell notification. It gives you instant update as soon as I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one.